The uh, CEO of the robot company, whose controller I was going to use, said, well, why don't you start out by making a mock-up? And so that's, this is the very first thing I made in this 20-plus year effort was this wood mock-up based on the suggestion of the CEO. So there's a motor that controls X, Y, and Z and all these, and then you give signals to those six motors, and in that way I can uh, articulate any kind of brush stroke. And then over the years I've gotten more and more sophisticated. So given that this was the wooden mock-up I made, actually the first thing I made in this whole project, and you have the roll, the pitch and the roll, over time this is what it evolved into here. So this is the, the first roll, uh, roll one. So you have the motor, the gearbox, and the encoder. And then connected to that is the pitch, which is this motor and gearbox and encoder. And then behind here is a timing belt to the third axis, which is roll two. And so you have your roll, your pitch, and your roll. And so in combination with XYZ and these three, I can do anything your hand can do. Plus, I can actually do a little bit more. I can continually twirl the brush where your hand can do that. Because I've done the uh, configuration in the operating system for the robot, and because I've done all the parameters that are necessary to drive all these motors, and because I know how brush stroke works, I get in kind of a zen state to develop new brush strokes. Right now I'm working on layers of mist, and uh, the mist has to be real thin and filmy, and so you can, it's semi-transparent. Another thing I'm working on right now is if you think of uh, incense, say like early morning light coming in and you have some incense burning, you know, it's wispy and it's delicate and it's kind of floating like that. Over the years, these brush strokes have gotten more and more elaborate, and, and, and that part's exciting to me to see it continue to evolve.